today we are using napkins from our own stash to make something for your enjoyment. My first DIY is a napkin wreath. The supplies needed include a floral napkin, Mod Podge, paper clips, and a wire heart frame, pearl stickers, an organza ribbon in light green, pink, and cream, and a large pink gem. I just made this one from my own creative idea. I did not see anyone make a wreath like this. It was a foam wreath that I purchased from Dollar Tree and painted with white chalk paint because it was very bright pink and sequined. And the chalk paint covered it really well. I only painted the front because I wasn't sure how it was going to develop. After it was dry, I took one napkin and covered the entire foam heart. I didn't know how I was going to do that either, but I started from the bottom, then the sides, and finally the top. And I think because it is painted with white chalk paint, the imperfections are difficult to locate. And it kind of gave it a very fine texture. So now on to decorating it to look sort of shabby chic and modern at the same time. I took some pearl stickers and applied them on top of the heart all around. But then a bow needed to be made, but I wanted it to be kind of wispy and light. So I took some organza ribbon in light green, pink, cream, and made kind of a, a shaggy bow. And I attempted to put it in the center of the heart, but it did not give the vibe I was trying to create. So I put it on the side, which made the ribbon on one side longer than the other and I was okay with that. It gave the wreath a unique look. And because the wreath was on the small side, I wanted it to look a little bit larger. So I had a heart wreath form that was wire and it was dark green and thought it would be a good frame to attach the smaller heart onto. So I guess that's where the modern part comes in but I needed it to be attached to the wire frame and how was I going to do that? Well, I thought I remember of something I did several years ago and it was on a straw wreath and we had these little clips that looked like paper clips, but they were clipped. So I cut several paper clips in the U shape and attached the foam heart to the metal heart wreath form using a little hot glue. So I put a, like a dab of hot glue on the ends of the paper clips and I just stuck that between the wire wreath and just stuck it right into the foam heart. And wow, it looks so good with the pink floral napkin. And I am not sure where I got the napkins from. It may have been Ikea, but it may have been from some other place. Anyway, I think it is just fabulous. Now you can do something different with the wire frame, but I kind of ran out of time. You could spray it like white or you can spray it pink or you can spray it red, any color that you want to. But I decided to leave it as it was. So let me know what you think. Now on to the heart trinket tray. We all need a place to put our jewelry, loose chains and rings. You can put other things, but you know, those three things just rhyme. How about that? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So Dollar Tree came to the rescue. The supplies needed include spray paint in matte white, and that was Krylon, white acrylic paint, and that is white acrylic chalk paint, spring fling heart napkins, Mod Podge, jewels, pearl stickers, and silver deco color acrylic paint pen. And the last thing you need is painter's tape. So let's get started. I found this beautiful heart-shaped tray at Dollar Tree. It has sparkles in between the two layers of plastic. And I found they sort of moved around. But that's okay, they're inside. I spray painted the inside with the matte white Krylon spray and I had to give it two coats and it still was not giving me the look that I wanted. It didn't seem to cover it very well. So next time I will use a gloss paint, especially on plastic containers. However, you all know that I'm not gonna give up. So I painted over the matte white paint with white chalk paint and it was starting to look a little better. The deco color acrylic paint pen was used to outline the heart just around the outside edge. Now, if you haven't tried the deco color acrylic paint pen, this pen is a game changer for certain projects and you will see how I will use it next month. The top edge was lined with pearl stickers around the shape of the heart. Now it was beginning to take shape. However, it still needed a little something something. And that is when I cut out the heart from the spring fling napkin. Of course, I needed to separate the two layers just because I only needed the heart. Now, Mod Podge was used to put inside the heart tray, and that gave it also another covering. It was, it was matte, but it gave it just a little gleam to it. I carefully laid the heart inside the heart. Hey, there's nothing wrong with having two hearts. <laughs> I placed a few heart gems around the heart napkin and styled it. I think it looks great. Let me know what you think because I can see this tray being done a hundred ways. And I think I saw someone use it as a tear tray and that was cute too. So whoever you are out there, very nice. Next on to my spring napkin art. I'm so ready for spring. It hasn't been a bad winter here but you know let's bring on spring and with spring you have beautiful flowers and so this one is easy anyone can do it and the good thing about it is that you can change it throughout the seasons and the supplies are very minimal the supplies needed include a picture frame a beautiful napkin and some painters tape that is it folks the pretty napkin can be used on a variety of DIYs and this one is so easy. I try to check out the napkin section of the stores just to see what they have and how I can possibly use them. This entire DIY came from Ikea. I found the napkins there along with the picture frame and the picture frame was in the sale area. So I disassembled it and took the inside chipboard and cut a piece of napkin to fit. Now, as you can see here, I did not remove the second ply because I needed that white background. Now you could have, you know, I've done it before where you just take the, the little chipboard and paint it and use the napkin and cover it at that point. But I just took part that I needed and I cut it to fit and I wrapped it around the chipboard and then I secured it with painter's tape. Now, I know I wasn't really neat with this part, but hey, no one is going to see it. And if they take it apart, then they deserve to see what you've done. I placed it back in the frame and it turned out beautiful. And when I get tired of this napkin, I can remove it 
and put another one inside. Now, how cool is that? Well, Z9 Design Family, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your comments and I appreciate you subscribing and I love you all. So be sure to help a girl out. Subscribe, like, save, and comment. Also, you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And remember, in Psalms 86, 16, it says, But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Blessings and have a great week. See you later. Bye-bye.